So as you can see, I am now on the roof of Raid. And you can sort of explore around the whole of it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. So in this one, I'm going to be showing you some tips and some amazing hiding spots that a lot of hackers use in Call of Duty Mobile. A lot of us get so frustrated when we get killed by a hacker. So if I could ask you guys just to hit a like on this video, just to make sure it gets on the recommended and hopefully it will get back to the developers and they will change these hiding spots in the game. But before we get into the video, I want to remind you in three days time at the end of this month, I'm doing a live stream and I'm going to be giving away 5,000 COD points in that live stream. So I can't stress enough. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you hit a like. Make sure you get your notification bells on. And let's get into the video. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Baby, girl, you're so damn fine, no. Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though. I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, though. When it's over, I press for wine, though. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamins in my pocket. Okay, so guys, welcome back to another video. So, as you guys know, there's a lot of hackers in Call of Duty Mobile at the moment. So... I'm going to be showing you some uh, some techniques to actually um, do the same thing as what these hackers are doing. Now, before I even get into these hacks, guys, I want to recommend you not do this in any multiplayer game. The, the game I'm in actually at the moment is a private game. Okay, so doing it in a multiplayer game or any other game will result in a ban on your account. So I'm just going to show you what the hackers do. So hopefully... This video will get recognized and hopefully the developers will patch these up so it'll make the game a lot more fun to play and we won't get hacked. So number one. So number one guys is basically how to get above the map in hijack. So what you want to do is you want to go to this balcony over here making sure the, uh, the little hut is on your left hand side so you are on this side of the map. You want to go over here. Uh, you want to just slowly edge around this corner and to be able to do this guys you do actually have to have the shield enabled so what you want to do is you want to get the shield out and as you can see right here you want to pop the shield just on here until the two outer pieces go out so if I just pop it just about there now with that out guys you can actually climb on top of the shield which I failed to do there so I'm going to go try it one more time. Uh, we're going to basically jump on top of the shield and all you need to do if we could just get up on this balcony just here. Okay all you need to do is you need to hop on top of the shield and you want to keep on jumping and jumping and jumping. It should get you on top of the map so let me skip ahead and I'll get you guys uh, into the good bit. Okay, so you want to jump a couple of times. You want to keep spamming the jump. And as you can see right there, guys, we have just gotten on top of the map hijacked. So this is what a lot of hackers use. Um, if you want to keep spamming jump, you can actually get on top of the ship. Um, so this is basically what hackers use to be able to float in the air. And I have actually tried this, but you can actually shoot enemies down. There are a couple of invisible walls just there. But if you peek over them, you can actually shoot. So as you can see... I'm shooting an invisible wall, and just over the invisible wall, I can actually shoot down there. So, again, this is a a pretty um, a pretty interesting hack, but again, guys, it's what hackers use. So I can't stress enough. If you can hit a like on this video, just stop what you're doing right now and hit a like. Get the likes up so this video can get recognised, or we can stop the hackers once and for all. So, getting in to number two. Okay, so getting into number two, guys. Now, this one's a bit more simple than the first one. This is actually on the map Raid. And this is one of the more popular hacks that the, uh, the hackers do actually use in this. So hopefully this one gets patched as soon as possible. So what you're going to do is you're going to need the shield again. You cannot actually do this without the shield. So I suppose that's the only good thing is you have to have a shield to be able to do these. You can't use any of the other, um, the other sort of perks or anything like that. So basically what you're going to do is you want to go into this spot on raid. You want to want to get your shield out and this sort of little ledge right here. You're going to want to go all the way to the edge of it and you want to make sure your shield is right as far to the right as possible probably about there so you want to want to place that down and as you can see mine's a tad slanted so this might not actually work so what you want to do is you want to get onto this middle bit first now all you need to do to get onto this middle bit is you want to jump on it and quickly do a 90 degree turn to your left just like that to stop you from vaulting over it so it's going to take you a few attempts. It is a bit annoying to, to get the hang of, but 
just like this. Yeah, I can't really do it right now. It's uh, not really working. So, again, I'm going to show you me actually doing this. So, we're going to skip ahead. So, oh, there we go. Speaking of devils. So, we have actually done this now. So, as you are on this middle bit, it's going to take two really swift movements to be able to get onto this roof right here. You're going to want to jump on this upper ledge just here on the shield. And you're going to want to jump straight away over to the top of the map. So, as you can see... I am now on the roof of Raid, and you can sort of explore around the whole of it. As you can tell, this is a very, very good spot because you can shoot people when they can't shoot you from up here. So, I mean, they can still shoot you up here, but if you're careful and you're good with your movement, they won't be able to. So, I'm going to try and run and jump onto this bit. As you can see, guys, you can go everywhere. It's got some cool little spots just here. You can get into this little room just here so they can actually see you you can't actually shoot through there so you can just be like hey how's it going and they can't actually see you so this is a pretty cool hack i don't know if this is a wall no there were all windows just there as well so it is pretty cool it's an extra sort of room on the map and if i can judge this just right about here you can actually jump off of the raid map and you can go and search around the outer level but what i'm going to do first i'm going to show you just over here I'm going to go back this way and I'm going to show you some other sort of techniques, uh, well, other sort of places you can go on this map while you are on the roof. I think I need to jump up there just like that. Um, so again, the hackers use this, guys. It is a very good hack to use. Again, when you're against sort of um, players and they don't know where you are and you're just on the roof sat just there. It is a really good technique to use, so you can, you can, obviously you can't shoot through here, this is all windows, so you can just kind of mock them from here without them being able to shoot you. Um, you can obviously go over here, you can go on the roof of anywhere else, so obviously like I said before, you can go back over here, and I'm going to show you the, um, the outer of the map, so I'm going to jump just over here, and then you can basically just drop down. If I can time this right, whereabouts is it? I think what you'll need to do is you'll need to pop the shield probably back out again. I'd say on sort of this half just here. All you need to do, you need to jump on there. You should be able to spam jump. As you remember using the uh, the right hand, sorry, 90 degree turn again to be able to get on here, which I am struggling to do right now. Uh, nope, we still can't get on it. There we go, and then you can just go on here. As you can tell, I failed again, Jesus. All right, let's try that again. Okay, 90 degree turn. There we go, we are on top, so I'm gonna jump on here. And I'm failing, so I'm just gonna skip to head, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Do you know what, actually guys, I'm not gonna show you that. I'm basically just gonna show you um, how to get on the roof in Raid, and we're gonna go on to number three. Okay, so getting on to the final hack and secret spot, number three. Now, this one is on the map Nuketown. Now, what you're going to want to do is you want to gonna run, a, run over to this sign just here that actually says, Welcome to Nuketown. And it actually says number 12 on it just there. Does that mean, does that mean zombies is coming in 12 days? <laughs> Imagine. Anyway, what you're going to want to do, you want to get the shield out again. And you see this little sort of bush little wall just here you're going to want to line the shield up with the top um, circle of the sign so you're going to want to put the shield sort of midway just about there i'd say just about there so as you can see the shield is up now what you're going to want to do now this one you're not going to be able to do it, it uh, as good in multiplayer but if you can actually pull this off you're going to be able to kill all of the enemies without them even be able to shoot you so this is probably the best hack that hackers use in this again it is the hardest one so what you're going to want to do when you're actually in a multiplayer game is hide behind the shield as long as you can and all you need to do is you need to hop on this ledge you want to wait for the shield to actually uh decrease and go down as so if you can plan it correctly as soon as it goes down you need to jump on it quickly which and then keep spamming the jump button on top of this little sort of ball just here. And that will basically make you fly in the sky. And you want to keep spamming the jump button. So I'm going to show you in a sec. We're going to skip ahead and I'm going to show you in a sec what I mean. As you can see just there, guys. So the shield just went down. 
and I am literally flying in the sky. Now, to avoid you sort of dying when you land, you want to keep sort of spamming a jump button just so you can kind of float down nicely. And as you can see right now, I am on the outside of Nuketown. So the rest of it is just a barren wasteland. You don't want to walk too far because I think you actually die just from walking too far. But as you can see right here, you are you can climb on these rocks. You are actually behind the spawn so you can shoot the enemies as they're spawning just here. Which I will show you on the other side of the map with my teammates. So you can, there's sort of a, a barrier above you. I mean, if you want to, you can literally go anywhere. Anytime you spam the jump button, it will literally make you float basically so you can go sort of on top of this roof just here maybe you can't i got that wrong but anyway you can uh, you can basically walk around the whole of nuketown and explore it properly you've got a big sort of radio tower up there i'll tell you what should we try and get on top of this radio tower i think it's actually invisible so you're not actually going to be able to get on top of it so yeah you're not going to be able to but as you can see i am floating down just here my teammate is just there so it is really simple for you just to kill the guys off the spawn because you can just get your AK out, you can sort of float in the sky and you can literally just shoot them as, as they're there, just like that. See? It's literally as simple as that. So you can kill enemies off the spawn and you'll notice a lot of hackers actually doing this. Um, the only bad thing is, uh, obviously, like I said, when you're on the outside of the map, you can't actually sort of um there are sort of walls around everything so you can't actually go on top of the roof so if i just go over here there will be a sort of little wall and the roofs will actually be um invisible but you will notice a lot of hackers doing this so i'm going to test out a few more things that i haven't actually tested out we're going to try and go as high as we can just to see how high you can actually go into the sky of this map now i'm pretty sure there'll be some sort of wall that will stop you from going really high on here but we're going to keep going and going and going and just see exactly how high we can actually go in Nuketown. It is still going. This is uh, this is pretty crazy. This is pretty crazy as it's still going. Um, again, you will have to, have to keep spamming the jump button. And as you can see, Nuketown's getting a bit missy now because I'm pretty far away. Um, so, yeah, you've got all the outsides just here. You can see the whole entire map is sort of a big square. Got some sort of rocks on the outside as well. Um, you can't actually put anything out. You can't shoot your well. You can shoot your weapons hit fire if you spam it just like that. And as you can see, my weapon is actually going a weird sort of golden sort of I don't know not golden but sort of blue weird galaxy color. So I am actually still going in the sky. I wonder if I'm going to see God soon because this is uh this is pretty high up. So, as you can see, it's still going. I can see my teammate just there, the little red light just there. But look, I mean, I'm going to keep going until I can't stop anymore, guys. So, I'll bring you back when I've reached the top. Okay, it looks like I have actually reached the top. So, as you can see, my teammate there, we're going we're gonna to go and see if we can land right on him. As you can see, I'm falling down right now. I'm not going to use the jump. I'm just going to see how far it actually falls until I... Until I die. I'm pretty sure I would die straight away just in this fall. As you can see right here. There we go. We died just in front of him. So there's uh, number three, guys. So there it is. Okay, so there are all three of the top hacker secret locations that hackers use to actually win games in Call of Duty. Now, I'll remind you again, guys, do not use this in the multiplayer mode. The hackers will get banned from doing it, and you will get your account banned as well. So if you've bought loads of skins and stuff, you really don't want to risk it. I mean, in a private game, you can use these hacks because they're not sort of recognized by the developers so basically only use this in private games do not use it in multiplayer games or your account will get banned now again i want to remind you guys just hit a like on this video let's try and get this video recognized so basically the developers will see it and they will stop these hacks from happening and they will lock these secret locations and make the game just better for all of us and the last thing i want to remind you guys is i'm still giving away 5,000 cod points in three days the last stream of this month make sure you are tuned in on make sure you're subscribed make sure you've got your post notifications on to make sure when i go live on the live stream and i'll be giving away 5,000 cod points in the last stream of this month in three days and finally if you guys want to become a better sniper in call of duty go and check out this video here it'll give you tips and tricks to be able to snipe like a pro 
So, enjoy. Thanks for watching, boys. See you in the next one. Yeah, boys!